Welcome back to Hondo Football and one of my favorite videos that I do every year. In today's video, I'll be breaking down the top five football gloves for the 2018-2019 football season. Now, if you saw my top five cleat video of the 2018-2019 season, you know that I had some honorable mentions. In this video, it's gonna be no different. And I will tell you that all of the gloves in this video are so good. All the gloves that came out this year are so good. There was a lot of competition. And just like that cleat video, all the gloves that you're gonna see in here are available from my partners over at eastbay.com. So without further ado, let's get into the honorable mentions. I love doing the honorable mentions because that means that the gloves are good, but they did not make the list. So there might be some surprises that you're gonna see. And the first honorable mention that I'm gonna to give to you guys are the Vapor Knit 2s from Nike. Now these are personally one of my favorite football gloves. And the reason why they're one of my favorites are just because of the feel on your hand, because of the look of the glove, and because of the magnet grip. Those three things make it one of my favorite gloves. However, in this video, it is an honorable mention, and that's because my top five gloves include specific categories, as well as things like price and, and value. Now, these gloves right here, like I said, one of my favorites, they retail for about $60, which is a little expensive. When you think about a skill receiver glove, you can get a similar performance out of lower price gloves, but you won't have some of the technology. So again, the highlights here are, you've got the Vapor Knit, ultra breathable, a super great fit that's gonna break in, and then you have the magnet grip palm, and then you have the solid design, which comes in a lot of colors, not all of which were my favorite. You can definitely check out that full video review uh, by searching these guys. I'll try to put a link in here, but these are the first honorable mention. Now the second honorable mention in this list is going to be by the brand of Cutters. Now, of course, a, one of the gloves from Cutters had to make this list. It is in the honorable mention, it is the Cutter Rev Pro 2s. Now this is a huge upgrade from the Rev Pros from last year. They made them even better, and what they did is they made the back of hand a little more solid, but also a little more streamlined. Now I did a behind the design video on Cutter's gloves. I also did a detailed review on these, Maybe I did them in white. I have a few different colors of these, so I'm not sure which one I showed you. But what I really like about Cutter's gloves is gonna be this grip in the dry. It's phenomenal. You also have the ability to wash these gloves to restore the grip. It's the only glove on the market where the grip is actually built into the material of the glove. So it is not going to fade unless you put a hole in this glove. So it makes Cutter's gloves super, super durable. If you're one of those guys out there that goes through multiple gloves in a season or you know you have uh, your parent or a coach that has youth players playing, I always recommend Cutter's gloves because it's gonna give you solid grip season after season, um, especially if you're not a gearhead like I am. But those are the highlights of the Cutter's Rev Pro 2, the second notable mention. Now the last glove on the notable mention list this year is from Under Armour. Now these gloves didn't make the list at all last year. These are the new UAF6. Now, what I love about the XF6 is that they are super, super thin. So it's kind of an ultimate skill receiver glove. You see this back of hand, it's so stretchy that it's almost see-through. It's a little transparent, you can see through it. They have the overlays that give some durability. It has a new UA glue grip, so that is gonna be a lot more durable than the UA grip in the past. And the other great thing is that they retail for $30. It's really hard to find a receiver glove these days that only retails for $30. Now these come in a variety of colors. Of course, I'll include a link in the description for eastbay.com if you guys wanna purchase these gloves. Let's get into the top five gloves and see which gloves made the ultimate list this year. We're gonna start with the best Lyman glove for the season. And there are tons of Lyman gloves. Every company makes one. And the ones that get recognized this year are going to be the Nike D-Tac 6 gloves. Now, what I like about these is going to be the streamlined nature of the gloves. So very thin, they almost feel like a little bit thicker, uh, super bad gloves, which are the padded receiver glove. Now, on the palm of the, the glove, you're going to have this hydro grip technology that's going to perform really well in the wet. You also have this gel padding at the bottom, so you have some of the grip for all weather conditions. You have some of the padding that you're gonna need in the lineman position, and then you have gel padding in the back of hand. Now this glove only comes in about five or six colors, a super streamlined, like I mentioned, and they retail for about $65. The number four glove is the best padded receiver glove for this year. Now there, again, just like lineman gloves, there are a lot of padded receiver gloves from Under Armour, from Adidas, from Cutters, uh, from Nike. The ones that 
get the recognition this year for the best pad receiver glove are the Nike Super Bads. Now, what is so great about these gloves? Why are they the best padded glove? The reason is that they use the new knit on the back of the hand. And what that does is it makes it feel very, very close to your typical skill glove. And that's kind of how I rated what would be the best padded receiver glove. As a padded, as a receiver who wants a padded glove, what you want is a normal skill glove with additional padding, but you don't want to feel the padding on there. You just want to protect your hands. And that's what they've done. They changed the back of the hand to use the knit, the same thing in the vapor knit. So it's going to give you a really tight feeling. Uh, you're going to have to break it in as much as not uh, compression like the vapor jets. And then you're going to get this additional foam padding, which is really thin, uh, which doesn't impede your range of motion or your ball feel on the glove. You've got the super sticky magnet grip on the palm, and then you have a lot of various colors again available from eastbay.com. These are available for $55. You might be able to get them on sale if you get them late in the season, uh, but these are your number four. Now your number three glove is probably gonna be a surprise. I actually didn't know what to recognize this glove for, uh, but I knew that it had to make the list. It is one of my absolute favorite gloves um, for this season, and I talked about it in my unboxing, in my review. They are the UA Highlight football gloves. I might as well call these the most underrated gloves for this season. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about them, but the highlights are phenomenal. A lot of you guys, like I mentioned in my review, you might not like the cuff or you might not think that you like extended gloves. These feel so good and they have a tremendous fit like all of Under Armour stuff because of the compression that they use, the compression heat gear. You can see the whole top of the back of hand is going to be compression. And then as you get down into the back of hand uh, lower on the glove it's going to be a neoprene material now these are the solid black colorway with the uh, different palms they also have them in white and those are the only two colors that they have so that is the only or one of the only disadvantages or trade-offs with this glove you can get them on deal so instead of being 55 dollars like normal they're 40 dollars right now i think 40 dollars for these are still trust me you won't be disappointed they use the new ua glue grip which is tremendous. It is much better than all of the grip that Under Armour has used in the past and it continues to last. The fingertips are breathable and then you have the reverse wrist closure to aid in reducing all of that distraction. So instead of closing over the top, like your traditional gloves, they actually close over the bottom, which gives it a super streamlined look. I am absolutely loving these gloves. These are your number three. Your number two glove for this year, this football season, is going to be your best skill football glove. Now, I'm gonna pause a little bit, let you guys think about that. I want you guys to write in the comments what you think is gonna be the best skill glove for this year. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Write in the comments what you think is gonna be the best skill glove. Right, I'm gonna spoil the surprise. The best skill glove coming in at number two is the Adazero 7 football gloves. Now, why are these the best skill football gloves? Now, I'm gonna tell you how I judge these gloves and, and think about a skill glove. A skill glove is going to be the ultimate receiver glove. You want that extreme ball feel, you want that extreme range of motion, and you want an excellent fit, and then of course you want the grip and the breathability. So it's what has all of those as a highest rating all together combined, it's going to be the added zeros. Now, I love the compression fit with the prime knit on these gloves. All of the added zeros this year are prime knit. Now, last year they had the prime knit and they had the their standard glove. This year they've improved the prime knit and look how stretchy. So they fit really, really good. They also feel extremely lightweight and they have the grip all the way down to the glove like most of the gloves do this year. The other thing is they're $45, just like all the other skill gloves, but they come in so many different styles, colors, right? You have all of the Ad emoji gloves like these. These are the get money gloves. You've got uh, the camel gloves are tagged. You've got the solid color gloves. So you have just your choice of all the different gloves and some of the best fitting. You guys are gonna see a lot of these in the NFL uh, this year. So if those were the number two glove and it's the best skill glove of the year, what possibly could be number one and what possibly could it be recognized for? Well, your number one gloves this year 
as they are every year when I rate gloves, are the best all-around football glove. Now, the reason why I rank the best all-around football glove as number one is these videos are for a lot of people who play multiple positions. You know, at the level you guys are playing, you're gonna be playing offense, defense, linebacker, line, uh, receiver, uh, safety. So you might, you want one glove. You might not want a specialized glove like the best lineman glove or the best skill glove. You may just want one glove that is the best all around glove. This year, that recognition goes to the Vapor Jet 5s by Nike. And the reason why they are the best all-around football glove is because not only do they have great ball feel, great range of motion, they too, just like the Zeros, have a compressive back of hand. You can see the compressive fit on here. They do not have a ton of padding, although they do have some padding here. Additionally, on uh, the inside of the wrist to give you additional protection, but the back of the hand isn't thin as something like the UAF 6s um, so it is going to give you additional protection and security in the glove. And then of course it uses the ultra sticky mana grip on the palm of the glove and the materials on the back of hand are going to make these gloves last very very durable so these are your number one. Now for you guys I want to hear from your perspective what you think should have been number five, number one, and every glove in between. If there's a favorite glove that you have that did not make this list definitely let me know in the comments below. Now, if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.